Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a Shop Miss A haul. And I'm so excited because this is part one and part two will be a full face using all Shop Miss A products. So what I'm going to do in this haul, this is Enzo by the way, say hi. He has a grooming appointment coming up. So right now he kind of looks like a poodle, but he is a mini schnauzer. Anyway, so what I'm going to do in today's video is going to show you everything that I bought new and then I will show you everything in my collection that I already have that I might incorporate into the video. By the way, if you hear coppers right beside me, but I'm trying to keep them separated for less noise, hopefully. But what do we think of my new hair? Do we like it? Do we love it? I got it all chopped off today and I am in love with it. Um, my makeup might not look so good because I just got back from getting my hair done, but... I had to film this video because all three of my packages arrived. So let's get into it. I already opened one this morning because I had to get into it. I ran out of something that I use just about every day. If you've never seen a Shop Missy video, when you get your package, it comes in this style bag. And then it's also in a protective bubble package. You can just open it and get into it or Enzo, can I have my scissors? Thank you. You can take this and pop it and that'll help get the air out. Let me show you quickly what I had to get into this morning. Comes in its own little package like this. I cannot remember for the life of me how many I ordered, but I thought I only ordered 10, but uh, it looks like I may have ordered 20. They are, it's called Beauty Topic Under Eye Gel Pads with Collagen and Peptide Complex, Nourishing and Smoothing. Helps to reduce fine lines, puffiness, and the appearance of dark circles. They are gel pads, but they're not the type of gel that just slips. They have a grip to them. What the packaging looks like. Absolutely love these. I cannot live without them. Now, also on their website, they're sold out currently. There's a brand called Cala, and they have one that is green, and I believe those are the collagen. And then they also have a pink one that I believe is hyaluronic acid, maybe even retinol. Any of these you cannot go wrong with, but this is the only one that was available on the website as of right now. So I stocked up on those. There might be more in another bag, I can't remember. But they also put this in the same bag. It's the AOA Skin Invisible Acne Patches. Blend seamlessly hydrocolloid technology. So there's 15 patches in this one. They're the 10 millimeter size. So down here it shows you the size of the pimple patch. And then I also got the 12 millimeter, which is 12 patches. So I got these for my 12 year old daughter who has pimples more frequently than I do right now. So the next thing I'm pulling out is like completely bubble wrapped. These I've had before and um, they're the Velour Highlighters by AOA Studios. I got the shade Boys and the shade Private Show. These are the most gorgeous highlighters. You guys, they're so good. I have to show you. Look at this. Look how stunning. Let me swatch it for you. And I wanna see if I can get it on screen. For you to see it feels kind of like the color pop super shock shadows a little bit look at this you guys i'm gonna do it right here on the palm of my hand oh my gosh and this looks like it'll be a little dark to wear as a highlighter but these also double as a beautiful eyeshadow so i cannot wait so that was private show let me show you boys it's more of an actual champagne. A little bit lighter. I'll put it right next to it. It's more of a gold. So this is like a rose gold in my opinion. This is an actual true champagne-y gold highlight. And they just feel incredible. I'll put pricing on the screen for you guys for each item. AOA Studios a plus flaw eraser foundation stick and i got it in the shade cappuccino and the reason i bought it in cappuccino was because i thought it could be a good contour or bronzer because they don't have a lot of cream 
bronzer options on Shop Essays website. So sometimes you have to get a little creative and I'm going to just put this on the back of my hand and it looks way more cool on my skin compared to this as you can see. So I think it'll be a really nice contour. I'm excited to try that and I'm going to just kind of blend it. Yeah, I really like that. Next thing in here is the AOA Studios shadow stay eyeshadow primer in the shade natural and this is what it looks like this is new to the website a lot of these things are that i'm going to be showing you i'm telling you guys if you've never gone on shop miss a go to shop okay click on the little tab that says new arrivals and shop all new arrivals and it will sort it from the newest item whether it be a hair bow a pair of sunglasses or makeup it'll all be in order of when it was listed on the website and that i find is the easiest way to get the newer items i just wanted to take a moment to let you know if you're not familiar with shop miss a's website they have everything from home goods to body care to skin care to jewelry they actually have a lint roller that is reusable and that has become a staple product in my household for pet hair. All right, so it has a little tiny doe foot and it looks like a concealer, but it is indeed an eye primer. And I just wanted to swatch it to see how much pigment it has. And I put it right here. It doesn't seem to have much pigment, so it's not going to give you much coverage, but I did want to try out a new eye primer because one of their eye primers that they have is one of my favorite eye primers ever. Next thing in the bag is the Cosmic Cowgirl Skin Grip Primer. And it says on the back, a weightless gripping primer for lasting makeup. This weightless liquid perfecting primer grips makeup, making your look last longer. Blur the look of pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and texture skin for the perfect canvas before makeup that leaves a matte finish and works for all skin types so it's interesting that it's saying it's a matte finish but a gripping primer i'm very curious to try this out because i prefer matte primers i prefer something that's going to blur my pores but i also love the sound of something making my makeup last longer um, i just don't like the gripping primers that make your face feel really sticky i don't like that feeling this is what it looks like oh now my cat's saying hello hello tom all right i'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand just to see what it looks like and what it feels like okay so here it is and it's starting to get that tack to it as you rub it you can start to feel it kind of tugging at your skin not wait to use this it completely blurred my hand out I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Let me see. So my hand, normally you can see a little bit of texture, those bumps. And this hand is completely blurred out, you guys. It feels so nice. It doesn't feel super tacky, but there is a grip to it. There's a little bit of a grip to it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. These I won't swatch for you, but I just wanted to show you. The AOA Studios Shade Adjusting Drops. I got black and orange and you may be wondering well, what the heck well i want these for my kit because i already have the blue and the white to lighten so if i ever need to darken here we go cannot wait to try that i love mixing and the last thing in this little bag is an eyeshadow palette and it's from aoa studios sunday afternoon eyeshadow that's what it looks like it reminds me of the elf little bite size palettes look how Pretty. So you see you're the two mattes. This one looks more like a shimmer metallic. This one looks like a glitter topper shade. So I want to swatch. It's definitely like a pressed glitter. Let me swatch it. Look at that. It's very pretty. Then let me do the shimmer like metallic. Oh yeah. That's a true like metallic. A foiled metallic. You guys... I'm so excited. Let me just feel and see what the matte looks like. I'll do the darkest one because this one probably won't even show up on my skin tone. Ooh, they feel smooth. That was, look at my finger. That was one little dot of this on my hand. Look at that. I cannot. 
I got the AOA Studios 48 piece perfect eye makeup tape strips. Now, look how big these are. They're really long. I feel like I could cut them in half because I really only use to like put right here. So yeah, I will probably cut these in half and double the amount. And here it is. It's $1. And they used to put the price on their packaging for a lot of these products, but like I said, I'll put it on screen. It's no big deal. But I just like to know sometimes when you pull it out. Yes, for sure. This was $1. Elf had these at one point, but they stopped making them for some reason, and they're really good. Now, this I did not realize it was going to be this big. It is the Kala Makeup Brush Cleansing Matte. Look how big this is. Makeup Brush Cleansing Matte. It's got different textures all around. Just Because sometimes brushes are a little bit trickier to clean, so you can just switch to different texture, and that'll help. And it's got the suction cups on the back, so it'll stick to the bottom of the sink. I already have one, but it's starting to get a little old, so I felt like it was time to replace it. And this one's much bigger, so I'm very excited. Love it. The next thing in this order is the AOA Studios Heat Free Satin Curling Rod. I actually ordered this for my daughter who has longer hair. Her hair is like down to here now. We'll let her sleep in this, and I will give you all an update and see. Um, but it was $3, and it's in the shade brown, which is more like a taupey color. And... Yeah, for three bucks, you get a claw clip, two scrunchies, and a curling rod. Next up is the AOA Studio Setting Spray Lock In Your Makeup Non Drying Matte Finish Lightweight Paraben Free. So it comes in a box like this. I always smell. Let's see what the spray looks like. Ooh. It has a scent to it, but it's not overwhelming or anything. Actually smells really good. This is a repurchase. The AOA Studios Derma Planning Face Razor. It seamlessly removes facial hair and peach fuzz. This thing is powerful. Trust me. It's really good. Um, I believe it was around $1. And it gives you instructions on the back. All-in-one brow shaper, facial fuzz, and hair remover and trimmer. Reusable. Um, just make sure you clean it and dry it really good or it'll start to rust. Um, I had a couple little rust spots on mine, so I wanted to repurchase. The last thing in this bag is different than what I thought, but that's okay. I thought it was going to be much smaller, and it looked like it was metal on mine, but it's plastic. It's a fine tip pen with black ink, but it's a little, like, machine gun or rifle. Like, my son loves his airsoft guns, and that's what it reminded me of. And it showed online that you could take it apart and assemble it like you could a real gun. So I thought you would like it, but it is definitely plastic, not metal. Um, if you look on the website and let me know if you think, if you see this, would you assume it was metal? I sure did. And by the way, they always put inside of your order, they'll put your packing slip. Looks like this. It's got everything on there. This is a little order. It's only 13 items. The reason I have three is because I wanted to do a full face. And when I went for the first order, there was a few things that were out of stock. And the next time I checked, they were in stock. And then um, one of the orders was because a couple new arrivals that I had to try. All right, this is something that is new. It is the Global Beauty Care Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream with peptides, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. I'm always willing to try a new eye cream. So when I can get one for this cheap, I'm going to try it. What it looks like once you get it out of the box. And this is a brand that you can find at Dollar Tree. You never know until you try it, and it might be really nice. So I'm just putting a little bit on my hand. Feel, get a feel for it, and it's nice and smooth. Barely any scent to it at all. Love having new eye creeps. <laughs> Guess what? Ten more of these bad boys. I don't use them every day, but they work so well for me. Let's just put it this way. I have some from Tony Moly, Peter Thomas Roth, high-end brands, okay? Like very high-end brands. And I like them, but I like these better. They do something magical for my under eyes. They plump them, but they plump them just enough to smooth everything out. Like my under eyes look so good. And there are just two things in here. Like I said, this was a small order, but it was a new arrival is the AOA Studios 
Flawless Jet Black Mascara. So, I mean, this literally just came out, what, two weeks ago? It's the Cherry Blossom Eyeshadow Palette. Eight colors, and the shade is Hana, or Hannah, and it's from AOA Studios. And it looks like this. Look how gorgeous. So, this matte shade right here is very important for my look. This one right here is very close to my skin tone as well. And then there is a deep brown matte in this one, like a chocolatey brown, and the rest are shimmers. So I cannot wait. And I have what I need to make an eye look with just these two, but I'm pretty sure there's more coming up. Don't come at me, I can't help myself. This is the big boy. If this tells you anything, this packing slip is three pages. <laughs> got a few of these. These are the AOA Studio Pure Cotton Rounds. There's 40 in each. Now listen, I bought myself the makeup eraser and I have been using them, but these are just so much easier for me to use with toner. Like I don't mind to use the makeup eraser to remove all of my makeup, but when I'm wanting to use these for like a toner, and my kids have been using them too, so they're very handy. They are a dollar, I believe. So I got a few of these. So let me go ahead and talk to you about this. This is the AOA Green Tea Plus Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. This is the value size. And what I do is I have a small one. I'll put a picture on screen for you guys. I will refill the small one and leave it in my shower. And this is what I use to remove my makeup when I'm in the shower. And this is what it looks like. And when you open it, it has a spatula and it's a very nice affordable cleansing balm. I absolutely swear by this stuff, it's so good. Next thing I got is from C'est La Vie, Simple Smart Beauty, Restorative Foot Mask, Shea Butter Extract, formulated with nourishing shea butter that moisturizes and repairs dry feet. This is one pair, and I just got one to try it and see because I'm gonna give myself a nice pedicure here soon, and I'm gonna have some soft feet, hopefully. And it has instructions on the back. It says leave on for 15 minutes. That looks really nice. And then I got the AOA Studios Velvet Puffs for seamless baking setting and more. There's two heart shaped, two triangles, and two long triangles. It comes like this. Six puffs for $5.70. So buying it in a pack like this, you're saving a bit of money. Because I think they're a dollar a piece or something like that. Oh, these feel good. Here's the two little heart-shaped ones. Look how cute. And they are nice quality, you guys, like really nice. They feel like actual velour, but also like a sponge at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. But then you've got your regular ones, just like the ones from Amazon. And then the these are the long. So let me show you the difference between the regular and the long. So if you have a little bit more area to get into and don't feel like this is pointy enough, then you got the long version. Venetian Romance Creamy Bronzer, and it's from AOA Studios. And I got it in the shade Canal. So it comes sealed, which is very nice. Open it without. Well, I did what I thought I was trying not to do, but this helps me get a little bit of product to swatch it for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so you can see where I dug my scissors in there. Let's feel it. Oh, super duper creamy, pigmented. And I have that gripping primer on my hand still, and it is definitely, I can feel the grip. It's like wanting to stick down. But that's a wonderful bronzer shade for me, and I'm glad I got that other one as a contour, because that's definitely a bronzer shade. This is a Venetian Romance Creamy Blush in the shade Duchess. Here's what the color looks like. You can see it's a nice little mauve color and I got some on my hand here. Let's see if I can blend it out. It feels the same as the other, as the bronzer. And you can see there, it turns into more of a mauve pink on my skin and I love these colors. So, so pretty. Next thing I have is this. This was $4 by the way. The A2O Lab Soft Matte Foundation. This is what it looks like, and I got it in the shade M3. Now, with Shop Miss A, 
you have to get multiple shades because it's very rare you're going to find your perfect match with one. Just saying. It's just... And I'm sorry I keep looking at myself, but I'm really feeling this new hair. <laughs> this is the Soft Matte Liquid Makeup for All Skin Types Creamy Buildable Flawless Finish. Did you see my nails, by the way? I did Valentine's. Got my little hearts and my bow. I did it myself. All right, this is, again, the shade M3. So I wanted to put some on my hand and feel it and also get an idea of the shade. And the reason I went for this shade is because it looked more olive tone, and I do have more of like a, a neutral olive undertone to my skin where I self-tan. And this is blending so nice. The shade looks a little dark, but not to fear. You know I got more than one. This is called a soft matte foundation, and it blended into my skin really nicely. Like, it really did. I think it might just be a hair dark, but we will see. Like I said, I've got these adjusting drops. I've got everything I could need to make it work. I've got the Blush Duo Petal Pop Cream and Powder from AOA Studios in the shade Bouquet. So this has a cream and a powder. And it's like a, a mauve peach color. If that makes any sense. It's like a in-between of a mauve and a peach. And that was the cream. And it is nice and creamy. We'll do one more little layer on top to see if we can build it a little bit. Yes. And then here's the powder. Which feels very smooth. And yeah, it is like a peachy rose. Next thing is the Cosmic Cowgirl palette from AOA Studios. This is a new release. It's baked eyeshadow. And the shade is Universe. Oh my gosh, how cute. The matte shades, well actually all of them, have a moon imprint. They look like moons. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let me swatch them. You know how we do here. Where do I swatch them all? It's a nice formula where it's baked. I like that. Oh my. Y'all don't need to be sleeping on Shop Miss A. I'm telling you, I have everything from Gucci and Dior and all the way down to Give Beauty, Rare Beauty. I've got it all. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait to film tomorrow because it always blows my mind the looks that I can create with this makeup. Oh, this I cannot wait. AOA Studios Flawless Setting and Finishing Loose Powder in the shade Light. Tell me this is not a Givenchy dupe. Yeah. Not wait to try this out, you guys. So the packaging, of course, is on the cheaper side because it's from Shop Miss A. So the little cap was a little hard to get off, but we did it. And it's the same concept as the Givenchy. I would show you, but I can't get it open. But all four colors, you mix them in the cap, boom. And we are going to try that out tomorrow. I can't wait. Yeah, the lid's very hard to get off and on, but that's okay. This is the AOA Studios Yummy's Debut Six Color Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Trainee. These are super small, all these little palettes, but that's okay. <laughs> super cute. Packaging feels pretty cheap, but that's okay. Here's what the palette looks like. Let me hurry up and do some swatches. I am going to be able to create an awesome eye look. Another one of the Venetian Romance Creamy Eyeshadows in Petticoat. And honestly, it kind of looked like it could be a highlighter as well. I thought this might be a nice little shadow for the lid. And oh my gosh, it feels so nice. Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. And it definitely could be a highlighter on certain skin tones, too. It's very nice. First, brow product. Okay. The AOA Studio A Plus Dual Brow Definer. And then it has an arrow pointing up to thick and then slim. 
So it looks like it has two different options. All right, so I got it in medium brown. Ooh, the slim side is super duper slim. Ooh, I really like it. I just drew a little tiny itty bitty line with that one. You can be very precise. And then the thick side is more of like the brow definer from ABH. It's got like that triangle tip to it, but it's cool because you can use the tip of the triangle to make a very thin line like that, or you can take it and do a full fill in with it. I think it's gonna be nice. I'm excited to try that out. And medium brown usually is a good shade for me. And then I also got the AOA Studio Slim Brow. I already had one of these, but I've had it for a while and I was afraid it might be dried out. So I went ahead and got another one. And I know I like this. This reminds me a lot of the NYX brow pencil. So this is what the slim brow looks like. It has a nice pointed tip. This reminds me more of the NYX and the ABH Brow Wiz. The formula and the way you can be precise with it, but it's not like super, super thin. It's not as thin as the Precisely My Brow, but it's very nice. You can see medium brown in both is pretty much the same. This is the AOA Studio Squay Lips, which I guess is squalene lip gloss, and clear. But this is just a clear gloss. It had good reviews. So I already have some lip stuff on, but we'll go ahead and get an idea for how it feels. It smells good too. Um, to me, this feels more like a lip oil. Another lip product is the Venetian Romance Lipstick, and it's got that same pretty packaging. And I got it in the shade Exquisite. The packaging of this is actually very nice. It's heavy, it's weighted. Um, this is different. Like it, so you have to twist and then pull off. So yeah, like once you use the turning device, it feels cheaper. I don't smell crayons, that's good. All right, it's nice and creamy. It's very pink, but we'll see if I can make it work. But this is what it looks like. That's the shade, it's not bad. This is a repurchase and I got it because they changed the packaging and I wanted to see if possibly they changed the formula. This is the AOA Studio Soft Base Nude Eye Primer. Controls oil, prevents fading, increasing, boosts color, long wearing, smoothing, vegan, eye primer. Oh, well, it's already busted out a little bit, but it is like the best eye primer. So I'm very curious. I will look and see. I'll put them side by side and see if there's any difference because I absolutely love the original. Oh, I forgot. I got another mascara. I've wanted this for a long time. And they came out with a dark brown. So I have the AOA Studio Tall Lash Mascara. This is so cool. Let me show you guys. Because I'll probably use both, to be honest. Every time I thought about buying it, it was out of stock. And then I noticed they came out with dark brown. It says Lengthening Precision Wand. Now look at this, guys. Look how cool this wand is. It's got little tiny itty bitty micro teeth on it but it's supposed to give a lot of lift i cannot wait i've heard really good things about this for a long time so now i have the tall lash mascara okay so the rest of this is complexion this is huge the aoa studio flawless liquid concealer look how much concealer you get it's massive um i got the shade l2 it's a little doe foot and I'll put some on my hand here. It's very serum like, which I'm glad because last time I had concealer from Shop Miss Day, it was very drying and thick. This does feel creamy, 
blending out and as it's drying it's got a little hint of like a radiance to it but yet it's also almost matte i don't know it blended in really nice we will see i'm very curious to try that out so i bought this concealer and then i got the locked creamy concealer from aoa studio and that, so i hope one of them works out good this one i got in the shade ln1 it's a dollar 88 this one does say the price on it, it comes in a nice plastic package this feels very creamy as well, very like serum-like. Shade's a little light. Yeah, I mean, I put it here too. You can see it's definitely got some coverage to it. Um, and yeah, I'll probably mix the two, to be honest with you, to get a better shade. But we will see how those work out. And then I also got the AOA Studio Flawless Longwear Liquid Foundation. So it looks like the same package as the concealer. It looks almost the same size too, which is crazy. But I got it in the shade L3. And like this one, I got M3. And I figured I'll get an, a light. And just in case, it could lighten up my other one. I always love mixing for color. I always love mixing for formula. You know, this is different packaging. It's like a squeezy tube. And I just want to, ooh. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. I think I'm really going to like this formula. It has a little bit of a scent to it. Not bad. Just wait. There's more. <laughs> I got the AOA Studio Matte Vision High Def Foundation. Matte Camera Ready High Definition. One ounce in a shade M1. So we have M3, M1, L3. I figured, by God, I'm going to get a good match one way or another. And then these are all new, so I had to try out the formula. By the way, these two, the foundation is one ounce, and the concealer is 0.67 ounces, so 20 ml. So it is smaller, but they look very similar. And then the Soft Matte A2 Labs is... 20 ml so you don't even get a full ounce of the four dollar one wild and it is a squeezy tube the shade m1 okay so this one's definitely going to be matte you could feel it right away when you're blending this one out you can feel the stick like it's trying to dry down automatically and the shade that's a little bit off but if it oxidizes just slightly, I think it would be close to perfection. Very nice. The next one is the Away Studio Pure Complexion Liquid Foundation. One ounce. And it says pure creamy formula, pure coverage, and pure blendability. And this one's also an M1. So we will see if it is similar. Yeah, this shade looks really good. And it's, again, a squeezy tube, so you have to be careful or it'll get kind of messy. Here's what it looks like. And, yeah, this one feels much more blendable. It's not sticky. And you can see it's just a shade lighter than my self-tan, but we can make it work. AOA Studio Satin Drop Foundation. It says shake well, lightweight, buildable coverage, long wearing, natural finish. So I used to have something similar to this, but it was just called the AOA Drop Foundation, I believe. It didn't mention satin. So this is new, like a new formula, and I got it in the shade L2. And I'm curious to see. It says buildable coverage, so I feel like it's going to be very lightweight. Um, and if it's similar to what they used to have, then it's going to be good because I really love that. And it has this dropper style. And this is a very neutral shade, which I love. This is what it looks like. See that radiance? Very nice formula. Gosh, this feels so nice and smooth. 
I really love that. And look guys, these adjusting drops that we can try out and mix our own. I'm so excited. I have one more item guys, one more to show you. And then I'm going to show you all the things I already own that I might end up incorporating into the look just in case something doesn't work out that I just bought. I have stuff in my collection that I know works. This is the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. Skin perfecting, color correcting. And it says gives the face a luminous glow to eliminate dull skin for a brighter appearance. What shade did I get? I'm going to assume that I got the light shade, but I don't know. It doesn't say on the freaking packaging anywhere. This looks a little bit warm. Like it has a little bit more of a warm undertone to it. It's definitely more of a warm undertone. So I can mix the satin drops in with this. Get a nice shade. And all of these feel nice and they look really good on the skin. So I cannot wait to try them out on my face. So this part of the video, I'm going to show you things that I already have in my collection from Shop Miss A that I think are worth it and things that I might end up using in my full face. The first thing I want to talk about is something that they do not have on the website right now. But if this ever comes back, this is the reason I'm showing you. If this ever comes back in stock, run and grab it. It's from Amuse Cosmetics. It is a nine pan palette for one dollar. Now, this is my original and the lid came off. So what I've been doing is storing my backup on top of it to hopefully seal in the formula. But I bought a backup because I realized how much I freaking loved it. And I'm glad I did. But when I bought the second one, the gold shimmer shade came in broken. So that is unfortunate. But Sorry, coppers in the background drinking like crazy. I've used this palette several times to make a like summer sunset kind of eye. I would get so many compliments. And when I would tell people, it's from Shop Miss A. It was $1. They're like, what? <laughs> He's going to be playing for a minute. So just I'll try to edit that out. He literally just threw his bone out of his case. It's what the packaging used to look like. It used to come in this. And here's what the packaging looks like opened. So yeah, it blends in kind of like a concealer, but it shears out. It gives coverage so you don't have any veins showing. And I'm telling you, your eyeshadow will not move. I will show you, they have a glow base eye primer that's the same packaging, but this is for shimmers. And it has a little bit of a sticky base to it. Like it has a sheen to it. So you can put this underneath of shimmers and help them last longer. So what I would do is I would use this first and put it all over my lid and then just dab a little bit of this. This is kind of like the, um, the NYX glitter glue kind of. This one's actually very close to the glitter glue. It's called the A plus tacky base glitter eye primer. So this one is like a full on dupe for the NYX glitter primer in my opinion. Um, it's very tacky. So you just like kind of dab it on where you want it, or you could use a brush. A brush would probably be preferable, but it gets super tacky and your glitters are not going to move. Like once I rub this in, like it is tacky, very tacky. All right. So this is the AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. And I wanted to show you something on camera because I have what's called the AOA Studios Waterproof Eye Makeup Seal. And this has hardened. It's like a rock in there. So I'm wondering if I add a little bit of this to it, if it would bring it back to life. And I'm just going to go ahead and try it. I'm just going to put a little dot right on the center of it. I'm just going to use my finger and see if it'll see what that'll do. So yeah, it's bringing it right back to life. That's awesome. I should have brought a spoolie up to show you, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. And this waterproof seal stuff is supposed to be good for any eye makeup. So I've got another thing I want to show you too. So again, this is like taupe. So it's a little bit lighter than my brow shade, but I figured I could mix it if I needed to, to lighten up. 
any of the other ones if they're a little too dark. So that's good to know that it's still workable. One more thing in my collection that I want to try that seal with. And this is going to be risky because it might get a little messy. But we're going to we're going to try it. I've got the loose pigments from AOA Studio. This one's in magic. So let's make sure there's nothing in the lid before we do this. Okay, I grabbed a medicine cup and we're gonna do a little experiment here. I'm gonna pour a little bit in, just a little into the medicine cup, put in a drop of this stuff and see if we can create literal magic. I grabbed an old brush from Amazon and I'm gonna mix it. I remember right, this shade was beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Wow. All over the lid. This would be so pretty. It's like reflective. Oh my God. So now I wanna do the other shade. I've got another shade that I've never opened before. So let's just do it while we're doing it, okay? Why not? This is in the shade Enchant. You guys aren't ready for this one. So when I first poured it out, it looked very, very pink. But once you add in the mixing medium or whatever you want to call it, the mixing pigment, it turns in more of a light pink. So here is magic. I'm going to put enchant right beside it. It's almost like a duochrome. So here, that's magic. Here's enchant, but watch when I turn my hand. You see it like there, you can see the pink and then it turns into like a, oh my gosh. It is so cool. Your hand a certain way, it's pink and then it turns into like a champagne silver. It's so pretty. These are awesome. I forgot how awesome these were. Look, that waterproof seal. It doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Shot Miss A is freaking fantastic. Don't sleep on it, okay? All right, so I wanted to show you these. Um, just in case the setting spray I got doesn't work, I do have the regular setting spray, the original, and then I do also have the oil control setting spray. And they, they have the same scent, so I don't know if they've changed the formula. The oil control primer spray is the pre-makeup application. So after you do your skincare, spray a little bit of this on first. It's really good. I'm almost out of it. So for primer, this is actually sold out on the website. I know it is because I was going to repurchase a backup. It is the Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. Guys, this is nice. It is like a gel that gives such nice hydration to the skin. And just a hint of glow from within almost it's so pretty and i i love the way it feels on the skin um like i said the last time i looked it was out of stock but keep your eye out for that it's a good good primer i'm not sure i haven't worn lashes in a while to be honest with you but i have a full drawer of lashes and a lot of them are from shop miss a these are the cala premium lashes in the style 43 um they are my favorite because they barely have a band at all. And that's like a really pretty style. So I might wear those, but I have three little palettes that I just got out just in case. Because like I said, I always like to have a really light matte and a dark matte. This is from LA Colors. And it's just a little quad of matte eyeshadows. This is the AOA Studio eyeshadow in the shade Peace and Love. It's got three little shades in it and they're all pink shimmers or metallics. And then this is the AOA Orbit eyeshadow in the shade Mercury. And it is one, there's one matte and the rest are all like shimmer metallics. And very, very cute. I just thought I would show you there are several different options to choose from. And these are all kind of like the older things that you're going to find further back on the website. This, I don't believe, is available anymore, but it might be. The Amuse Cosmetics Glam on the Go palette. And the reason I pulled this out is because out of everything that I have, I only had um, one powder blush, I believe. And just in case that one doesn't work on my skin tone, I could always try this one. 
So this has a blush, highlighter, bronzer, and then four shadows. It's called Glam on the Go palette from Amuse Cosmetics. So I pulled this out because I might end up needing that for my full face. Now they do have the AOA Studio Perfect Bronzer Powder and I have it in the shade Frappe. And these are really good. Now the camera is kind of washing it out, but it is a good bronzer shade for me. And then the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powders, these are phenomenal. I have two shades. I have beige, which is like I would use all over my face to set my face. And then I have the ivory shade, which would be more in the center of my face or my under eyes. These are phenomenal powders, like really good. And they sell out constantly. So if you can find it, go ahead and get you one. Now this is the Paw Paw Glow Within Illuminating Powder in the shade Brunch Date. This is what it looks like. And this is like the most beautiful glowing from within powder highlighter I've ever seen. It's very pretty and it does not accentuate my texture. I absolutely love this. So I will be using that for sure. I have these, the AOA Studio Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter. I have Golden Rose and Morning Glow. These are a complete dupe for the e.l.f. Halo Glow, for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. They're identical. So this one is Morning Glow. So let me show you. You just blend it out and it gives the most beautiful sheen to the skin. You can use it all over like the Halo Glow or you can just use it on the high points. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure you can buy a full bundle of all of the shades of those. Very, very good. The next thing I want to show you is the Jelly Jam Lip Mask. So this is something I will use when I'm starting my makeup to hydrate my lips. And it is very close to the Laneige. Like it's just like a Vaseline jelly for your lips. And this one's in strawberry. I do have a couple other flavors like honey, I think. But these are phenomenal. Amuse Cosmetics Duo Jumbo Eyeliner in black and medium brown. So you have a big black eyeliner and a big brown. And I figured this would be perfect to use out at the outer edge of the eye to smoke out some liner out in the it because it doesn't need to be precise for that. And then I also have the gel eyeliner in brown, which I need to sharpen, but this is also a good eyeliner that I can use to smudge out. And then this is the AOA Studio Gel Liner in Sand Dollar. And I need to sharpen this one as well, but it is like a nude shade that you can use in your waterline to make your eyes appear brighter. It's really nice. It's kind of like the Tarte Fake Awake. We talk about these lip products and then I only have a couple more things to show you, which are tools. Um, so I did not order any lip liners because I already bought a huge bundle. I think I had eight. Yeah, there are eight different liners, lip liners. We have Soar, Satin, Silk, Expose. I'm not going to swatch all of them, guys. Lingerie, Love Note, Dawn, and Night Out. I'm pretty sure Silk is the one that I swatched them the other day. And I feel like Silk is the one I want to use. Yeah, it's like in between brown, got a little bit of rosiness to it. I feel like it'll go with a lot. I also have LA Colors lip liners on there. So I have Nude and Iced Coral. I have an actual backup of Iced Coral. So this is what it looks like. I'll put it right beside of Silk. And it's like a warm terracotta. So this one right here is Iced Coral. See how it has like a little bit of a peachy coral tone to it? It's really nice. We'll see. I'm not sure what vibe I'm going for. Then I also have a pink from LA Colors, like very, very bright pink. Whoa, <laughs> that actually might go better with the lipstick that I got, but we will, we'll see what we got. AOA Studios Lip Pop Lip Glosses. I have Goddess 
and they come in a package like this with your little doe foot let me show you how pretty and it is just a lip gloss with a little bit of pigment it's like a peachy color it's very pretty i love that and then the other shade i have is city girl this one's more of an actual almost like a liquid lipstick see how that one's more pigmented but this formula if you've never tried it is so good lip pop lip gloss diamond lip gloss and this is aoa studios as well and it's so pretty it's like very sparkly and it is just a very pretty pink shimmery gloss if you like shimmer lips you will love this <laughs> look at that so pretty i wanted to show you a couple tools that i love and use almost daily from shop miss a the first one that I do use every day is the AOA Studios F14 Angled Contour Brush. As you can see, it is dirty because I used it for my powder, bronzer, and powder blush today. This brush is phenomenal. It's just perfectly soft. It's the perfect size, and you can use it to stipple or blend, whatever you want to do. Concealer 206 from Urban Studios. Whenever I'm using... A product like the MAC Paint Pot or whatever to carve out my brows, I will use this brush. And it's also good for like spot concealing. If you're wanting to use like a pot concealer to spot conceal, this brush is good for that. And then the AOA Studio High Def Brush E109 it says made in the USA right on it. This is an awesome concealer brush. Or what I like to do is use this to spread out my eye primer. It just works perfectly and quickly. And the next one is the AOA Studio F19 Highlighter Brush. I love this brush for highlight, but I also love it to set my under eyes. It's so soft, fluffy, and incredible. Love this brush. And the last one I want to show you, if it's available, grab it. It is the She Cream Brush. I don't know why it calls it the cream brush, because it's actually just the softest best blending brush from shop miss a i will show you how this works in action on part two and the last two things i want to show you is this sponge this is like the velvet sponge i think is what it's called if i can find it i will put it on screen for you but it is an actual soft velvety purple sponge it's incredible for powder like i don't even know how to explain it and then this is like the little microfiber concealer sponge i've got multiples of these they are phenomenal they get a little bit bigger than this one's wet but they're phenomenal to blend out concealer and that is all that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed today's haul i went through a lot of these products just to show you what we will be using for a full face and to just give you some ideas so if you're ready to take the plunge and go on shop miss a's website i want to show you what i know works I mean, it's like shopping at the Dollar Tree, so it's not going to feel like, you're not going to feel intense guilt, I should say, but you still want to buy products that work. So let me just guide you, show you what you should get. I will film my full face tomorrow. Bye, guys.